Here's how you can trigger your N8 workflow and start calling your leads directly from Google Sheets. This is useful if you don't want to open N8 every time to trigger a call or you just don't want to provide access to everyone in your team. So this is how it works. I have a spreadsheet which is populated with my lead and I created a button here and if I click on start the status will turn to cold and within one or two seconds I should receive a call. I'm receiving a call. So I'm going to show you how to set this up. We are going to use N8 and to initiate a call we are going to use Wappy. If you don't want to use N8 then you can use any other automation service for example or you can use make.com. Basically what matters is you need to be able to send a request to your webhook. So the first thing you will need to do is create a new workflow in N8 then. and for the first step let's add the webhook node. And let's switch to production URL and let's also switch the HTTP method to post. And next you need to go to your spreadsheet and what we have to do here is create a Google app script. This will be the script that will trigger your N8 and workflow. And as I showed you before, we are going to use a button for the trigger. So what we need to do is click on extensions and let's click on app script. And then you will see an empty file. So I'm going to delete this and I'm going to paste the script that I created. You can pause the video and copy this, but I will also share the link in my resource hub. You can find the link in the description below and also in the comment section. So what this script does is that it gets the active spreadsheet and sheet, then reads all the data from the sheet, including the headers and the submitted rows. Then it checks for the first row, which should be your headers, and it will find the column named status. And if that column is missing, it logs an error and just won't do anything. But if you have a status column, it will loop through each row that has the status to be called. And then it will update the status to cold in the sheet and it will also create an object that contains the rows data using the headers and keys and then it adds this object to an array called form data array so if you have multiple rows it will add all the items to this array and all your leads will be called then it will check for the matching rows and if no rows had the status to be called it just logs an error message and won't do anything. Otherwise, it converts the form data array to a JSON string. Here we need to define our webhook URL. So let's go back to N8 then, and let's copy the production URL. And let's go back to the script and we can paste the URL here. Then below that, you can see that I'm configuring my request. It will be a post request. So don't forget to change your webhook to post. And then when it successfully posts the request, it logs the response and if there is an error, it will log out the error instead. So if you want to have this script, you can pause the video. But again, I will share it in my resource hub as well. And now we can go back to our spreadsheet and we are going to create a button here. So you can click anywhere and let's click on insert. And we need to click on drawing. And here we are just going to draw a button shaped square. So let's click on the shape button and select shapes. And let's pick the second one. And then you can just draw a button shape. Then we can add the text inside the shape. So let's click on text box. And let's say start. We need to adjust it a little bit. It's not going to be perfect now, but I think it's fine. Then we can click on save and close. But if we click on it now, it won't do anything. So what we need to do is click on these three dots and click on assign script. It will ask which script we want to assign to it. So let's go back to our script and let's copy the function name, which will be on form submit. And now we can go back to the spreadsheet and just paste it. Then we can click on OK. Before I click on start, let's go back to the N8 and automation and let's activate the workflow. Now we can go back to the spreadsheet and click on start. It will ask you to authenticate your account. I already did on mine, but after you authenticate, you will be able to click on this button. Now we can check if the data went through. So let's go back to N8 and let's click on executions. And now you can see that it successfully sent over the data from Google Sheets. We have all the fields related to our lead. You can do whatever you like with this data, but in my case, I want to call my leads with Wappy. So let's create an HTTP request node. And let's go to the Wappy documentation. Let's go to the API reference and we are going to create a call. And you can copy this URL. It will be a post request. So we can set this to post and set the URL 
to authenticate your Rappi account, you can click on authentication and let's select generic credential type. And here let's select header out. And now we can create a new credential. And for the name, let's say authorization. And for the value, you need to find your API key from Wappy. So if you go back to Wappy, you can find your API key in the Wappy API keys tab. And here we need to copy the private key. Let's go back to N810 and we need to write bearer space and you can paste your API key here. Then you can click on save. Let's close this. And we also need to provide the body because this is where you define which assistant you are going to use and also which number you want to call. So let's go back to the WAPI documentation and we can click on try this API. And here you have the option to put together the request. So let's find the body parameters that we are going to use. Let's select the assistant ID. And here we need to provide the assistant ID. And that you can find in the assistance tab. And you just need to copy this value. Then we can go back to the documentation. And we also need to add the customer here. Because this is where we will provide which phone number we want to call. So let's find the customer. And we need to add the phone number. So let's open the optional properties and let's find number. I'm not going to add any value because I will populate this in N8. And we also need to provide which phone number we want to use. And for that, let's click on optional properties and we need to find phone number. And now on the right side, you will see the JSON that we will need to send with the post request. So let's copy this JSON and let's go back to the N8 workflow. And we can change the specified body to using JSON. And now we can just paste the JSON here. Now we can close this. And we will need to have the customer's phone number. So what I'm going to do is go back to the execution tab. And I'm going to grab the data that we received previously from the spreadsheet. So you can just click on this copy button. And let's go back to the editor. And click on edit. And let's paste the value that you copied previously. And now we can click on save. And now the data is pinned, so we can use this value to test it out. And now we can provide a phone number. Let's switch to expression here. And now we can drag in the phone number that we received from the spreadsheet. We need to provide a phone number with the plus prefix. You can notice that I don't have it here. So I'm going to add plus. And now you need to provide your Twilio credentials. You need to provide your Twilio account SID and your Twilio phone number. And once you did that, let's click on save. And I'm going to click on test workflow. And it looks like it gave us an error because we didn't provide the Twilio out token. So let's go back to the WAPI documentation and let's select Twilio out token. And now we can copy this and we can paste in the HTTP request node. So let's find the phone number object and we can paste in the Twilio out token. And once you filled it in, you can click on test step. And now it's calling me. So let's test it out. Let's click on save and go back to the spreadsheet and we can delete the status. And now if I click on start, I need to wait one or two seconds. And the assistant is calling me. And this is it. It's quite simple, but it's very useful if you don't want to open N8 and every time to trigger the call. And you can use this for any kind of automation. It doesn't have to be an outbound call. For example, it's great if you want to enrich a lead by just pressing a button or you want to scrape a website. The possibilities are endless with this and I think it's super easy. If you want to learn more about N8 or Rappi, you can check out my channel. I have a lot of tutorials about AI automation and AI Osage and development. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.